Namaskaram. This question is asked in 2020 based on sequences and series chapter. Very important chapter. Every year, 5 to 6 questions will be asked. If you are running out of questions, please look for sequences and series questions. They will be easy and help you to qualify. One page is torn from a booklet whose pages are numbered in the usual manner starting from the first page as 1. The sum of the numbers on the remaining pages is 195. The torn page contains which of the following numbers? Let's say this is a torn page. If one side is numbered as P, then other side would be P plus 1, my friends. Okay, P, P plus 1, P, P plus 1. Okay, let's say now the booklet has N pages in total. And the pages are numbered starting from 1. So, sum of N numbers. Okay, that is Average of first and last number. First number is 1, last number is an average 2, okay, into number of numbers. This is what we have seen in sequences in series chapter. If the numbers are in arithmetic series, arithmetic progression, this is the formula for sum of n numbers. First number and last number average into number of numbers. Otherwise, we have seen the formula for first n numbers that is uh, n into n plus 1 by 2. So essentially both are same. Now this is equal okay sum of the numbers on these two pages p plus p plus 1 plus sum of the numbers on remaining pages 195. So 2p plus 1 plus 195 is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Now pay attention this concept is very very important. We have only one equation from the information given. Whereas we have two variables P and N. One equation, two variables. We cannot solve that. So to solve this problem, we have to use trial and error method. We have to try with the different, you know, values of N and find out P, okay, which satisfies. Let's say there are 10 pages in that booklet. Then what is this value? 10 into 11 by 2, that is equal 55. Two fives are my friends, okay, 5 elevens are 55. Now this is absurd. Sum on total pages cannot be less than sum on remaining pages. Remaining pages 195 and we are getting sum on total pages 55. So this is absurd. Otherwise, you know, you know, P value here, it will be negative my friend. So yes, N cannot be 10. Let's say N is 15. Okay, we are trying with the simple values. So 15 into 15 plus 1 by 2 that is 15 into 8 okay this is 16 right so 2 8s are so 15 8s are 120 again this is uh, less than 195 so n cannot be 15 sum on total pages cannot be less than sum on you know some remaining pages my friends okay so this is absurd now let's take n as 20. 20 into 20 plus 1 by 2 that is a 20 into 21 by 2 so this is 210 21s are 210 are okay 21 tens are 210 so yes in this case we will be getting p as a positive see 210 is greater than 195 and let's see the p which we are getting from this okay is there in one of the given options okay so 2p plus 1 is equal to 210 minus uh, 195 this is a uh, 15 so 2p is equal 15 minus 1 that is equal 14 p is equal 7 p plus 1 is 8 my friends okay 7 and 8 do have that option yes b so our answer is b so the takeaway points from this problem is if you don't know something please assume it this is the problem upsc aspirants have they don't assume they just think in a okay mathematics uh, won't work like that you have to assume the values form the equations and then eliminate them okay so here we don't know the page okay we assume it as p next page is p plus one we don't know number of pages in that booklet okay so we assumed it as n from there we form the equation my friends okay so this is what you have to do now one equation two variables we have one equation two variables p and n so we cannot solve it in conventional method you know two variables require two equations whereas we have only one equation the only way to solve this problem is use trial and error method here you cannot try with p values and fix n we are asked to find out p value my friends okay not n so you try with n and uh, try to fix the p p should be one among the following 
given options so for this we have tried with you know n is equal to 10 the sum is 55 it cannot be less than the sum on remaining pages okay absurd otherwise p is negative in this case okay n is equal to 15 in this case also p is negative otherwise this is less than sum on remaining pages n is equal to 20 yes this is somewhat satisfies now let's substitute this in this equation and find out the p value if p value is one among the options given then yes that's our answer my friends okay this is what we have did here so remember this if number of equations is less than number of variables okay only one equation we have two variables one equation two variables okay number of equations is less than number of variables the only way to arrive at the answer is by trial and error method okay so this is how you have to solve this problem hope this is clear thank you